going to power it up. Bring it across inverted. Oh yeah, she flies great right there, just about any direction. Hey pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James, and this video is gonna be dedicated to just the mixing of your Yas 39 Griffin, uh, how to mix your canards with your Elevon setup. So uh, that's gonna be the purpose of this video. If you're finding this video, you probably came from either the assembly or one of the other videos. We have links to everything about this, but we wanted to do just a dedicated video to how to mix it, and we're gonna be using a Spectrum because we have the Admiral 10 channel satellite receiver inside. Now, we may come back with a Futaba video, but uh, obviously we can't do a video on every single protocol that exists. So a lot of the principles that you're gonna see in this video, uh, if you know your transmitter and know where to find the similar pages, because a majority of your big protocols are gonna be able to do this, um, it's nothing new. But, uh, you know, just use the tips that we show you here to uh, hopefully work your way through. But as we said, we're going to do it on a Spectrum DX9 with an Admiral 10 channel receiver inside. So I say, let's get started. Okay, guys, so step one in setting up your mixing is going to be obviously creating a new model. You see that I've created the Yas 39 Gripen. This is not the model I was using to fly it. This is brand new for the purpose of this video. And the first thing you want to do when setting up your model is going to be from the system setup menu. When you first set it up, you obviously create your model, but you go to aircraft type, you wanna make sure you selected Elevon on this page. And I'm sure any protocol will have this setup in it that you can choose. You know, it's one of these options for the wing, flap on, one aileron, one flap, but you wanna be in Elevon. That is your first step. So as long as you're there, you are good to go because obviously this is in Delta canarded Elevon setup on the wing, so that's gonna uh, allow your Elevons to work as Elevons. So they will work in both the pitch and the roll. So do that for step one. So now going to step two, I wanna show you something. Now, at this point, you've probably bound your aircraft up in order to uh, install your linkages on your rudder, as you see here, and on your Elevons. Now, when you're here, you'll notice I have, or you will see, depending on where you plug in your canards, I have mine plugged into Auxiliary 2 and Auxiliary 3. Now, the way Spectrum works is, and we'll show you in a second, when you go to the Channel Assign feature, that uh, they automatically assign Auxiliary ports to random switches. So if I'm on switch E, you see that my canard, my right canard, is already on switch E. Because when I bound up, I notice that, oh, my canards are off-center as you see them, and on my right knob, is where the other canard is because that's plugged into auxiliary three. We wanna make sure that they are centered. So you don't have to go into the servo right now and move a ball link. What you wanna do is back out into your system setup page and you wanna to go to the channel assign. Cause again, as with Spectrum and I can't speak for other protocols, Again, this is where they automatically assign uh, different things, like your gear switch is always on A, your flap switch is probably gonna be on B or D. But you wanna come over to auxiliary two, and we wanna inhibit it. Wanna come over to auxiliary three, and we wanna inhibit it. So we wanna take away uh, this, and you notice nothing's happened because right now the plane isn't bound, we've backed out of the model. So let's come out of this page, back out fully, it brings you back in, model gets bound, and now look at the canards. Now they've now leveled out. So now at this point, if you wanted to, if they're a little off center, you could manually go into them, change uh, the, the ball link and make sure they are center, but they are so close here that I just do it with sub trim, and that's something we could do a little later. But now that you're here, you should have this setup. Your Elevon should roll left, they should roll right, they should pull up, and they should go down and work in unison. And again, as I said, uh, mine were reversed when I plugged in. So when you come over to the reversing page, you see that selecting an Elevon setup at the very beginning changes this page from throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder to throttle, right aileron, left aileron, rudder. That's basically Elevons. And you can see I have reversed those because those are both in the up position and that allowed me. You may not have to reverse it, it depends 
you know, it's never, I don't think it's ever the same for everybody, but if you do have to reverse it, do that now. And now the next step is gonna be getting into the mixing. Okay, so now you want to mix your two canards into your two elevons. So you are gonna need to have four mixes for this. So what you're going to do is go into the mixing page and you can see you have, you know, pretty much 10 mixes I believe that you can use on a, uh, on a DX9. We're gonna be using four of them. So let's start with the roll because the way we recommend flying this aircraft is using the full functioning canards. Uh, for full functioning. So we want them working in the roll and the pitch. That's the way I've flown it. I enjoy it. I think it's fun. Um, you could only use two mixes if you want. You could have it just work in the pitch uh, or just in the roll. However you want to set it up is up to you. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to set it all up and make them all work together. So I say first mix we're going to do is we want for to get started working on the roll. So now I know when I come into mix, I start with normal. Now, I know where my canards are plugged into, so make sure you know where they're plugged into. You might not plug it into the same auxiliary ports as me. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go to aileron because we're working on the roll. Now, remember, your left, at least in my case, my left aileron, my one on this side of the screen, is plugged into the aileron port on my servo. So that's why I'm selecting this. We're going to start my mix with my left aileron. Now, my auxiliary port 2 is my right rudder, is my right canard, sorry. Right canard is auxiliary port two. So that's my mix, aileron into the right canard. That's what we're working on first. And we're gonna work on it in the roll. So now, next step, going into your rates. And this is where you're gonna play. I'm gonna roll this up to, let's just roll it up to 50% and see what happens. When I move my stick to the left, ah, you see that we're getting, we're getting somewhere. But right now, I want the left aileron in the roll to work opposite what the, uh, what the right canard does. The right canard is going to work together in the roll with your right elevon. So being that I'm doing it opposite, right now, if, I'm moving to, if I move up to 100%, I'm getting not what I want. So that means I have to go backwards. So I'm going to go back to 100%. and it takes a little while, sorry. You really gotta roll it. But now I'm at 100%. So when I move my stick to the left, ah, you can see they're going opposite. That is what I'm going to want um, when I start moving. Because right now, this canard now is working in unison in the roll, at least on this side, with the canard that I want it to work with. So, but you notice when you just use the left side of the rate, you only get half the movement on the stick. Nothing happens when I come to this side of the stick. You have to go to this side and do the same thing. Roll it back to minus 100%. Now, when I roll left, when I roll right, I'm getting movement on the canard. So by mixing my left elevon, with my right canard, uh, it's now working right in the roll for this side, which is awesome. That's exactly what I want to see uh, coming in. Now, one thing you're gonna wanna do before you leave this page, go down to the trim setting, and you wanna activate this. If you do not activate this, when you go to fly, watch, if I put a roll trim when it's inhibited, watch my elevons. My elevons are trimming, but my canard isn't. So that is not what you want. You want to activate it. So now when I trim in flight, you see my canard move with my elevons. That's how you want to make sure you do it. So when you're in the air, you're getting uniform because obviously once you're done mixing, you're going to center all these servos, make sure everything is nice and level all together. So then you'll get a proper trim when you're up in flight. So that is mix on the first. Uh, that is the first of four mixes right there. So now we're gonna go to mix two. And mix two is gonna be the same thing. We're gonna work on the other canard mixed to the same, uh, to the same um, elevon. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna go aileron again because our left elevon is plugged into the aileron port on the receiver. And now we're gonna go to aux three. In my case, it's aux three. That's for my left canard. 
So now I'm gonna roll the ray. Now, since this is roll, we should, this should work in opposite than the other mix one. If mix one was minus 100, let's rack this up to full 100 and see what it does. And again, remember, when you're working on one rate side, you're only moving one side of the sticks. So now, moving to the left, there we go. Actually, you can see, I was wrong. So when I move to 100, the canards are working together. I don't want the canards to work together in the roll. I want the canards to work as opposites in the roll. So for this one, I also have to move down to negative 100. And again, mixes is something you've got to play with. Just because I have it set up this way, the, uh, the functionality will be the same. This is the page where you're gonna do it, but your rates might vary from mine, just depending on, on certain things. But when I come in now, when I move left in the roll, that's what we wanna see. My elevons now are perfect in the roll on that side. The left side is moving together as they should, and the right side's moving together, but as you can see, I'm not getting that left canard moving right until I also rack the right side of the rate. So let's move that back to minus 100%. Now, I have properly mixed my roll for the canards, but when I do elevator, nothing's happen, happening, as you can see. So we'll get to that next. But before you leave this page, again, just go and activate that trim as I just did here, because that's gonna allow you again to trim. And you see, I get the trim. If I trim right or if I trim left, I'll be able to trim it in flight. Perfect. So now we're gonna back out and moving on to mix three. Now we're gonna work on our pitch. So in order to do that, your mix three is gonna start with your right Elevon on this side. And that is plugged into, more than likely, plugged into the elevator port. So you start with your elevator and we're gonna mix into, let's mix into the first canard, which I have plugged into aux two. So that is our right canard. So now I'm gonna play with the rates. I wanna make sure that when I pull back, this canard goes opposite what happens with my, with my Elevon as you'll see in a second. So I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna roll it up here and see what it does quick at 35% on the left side is for there. Okay, moving up in positive, that's the direction I'm gonna want. I want, when I push nose down, I want, my I want my Elevon's trailing edge to go down and I want my canard's leading edge to go down. So that's right. So I'm gonna move that now to 100%. And again, since the rates are, you only get half per each side, it works fine when I move up, but nothing happens when I go down. So move to the other side and rack this side to 100%. So now when I push, when I push nose down, I'm, I'm heading down with the canards on the leading edge. And when I pull up, when I take off, that's what I want to see. You want to see the trailing edge of both Elevons up and the leading edge of both canards up. But right now we've just mixed one canard. Before you leave this page, again, activate your trim so that you'll be able to trim out in the air together your Elevons and your uh, canards for pitch. And then we leave mix three and we got one more mix to complete your uh, canard delta setup. So heading to mix four, again, you are going to go from the from your uh, Elevon that's plugged into the elevator port, like so. Now we're gonna go to your opposite canard. In my case, the left canard was auxiliary three. And now here's where I believe you wanna go backwards. You wanna be opposite. So if I, I'm gonna rack this to minus 100%. And if I'm wrong, we can laugh about it in the comment section. But I believe if I pull down or push up, there we go. You want in the pitch, you want the canards moving in unison. So again, we've only done the left side, but minus 100 is the ticket. So then moving to minus 100. Everything works. So now you see we've got pitch. In pitch, the canards work together in opposite of the Elevons. 
And in the roll, the canards work opposite, but in unison with the elevons on each side. So that's how you want to have a finalized uh, gripping. So when I rotate the sticks, 360, look how crazy that looks. It looks awesome. And trust me, it flies fantastic like this. But before you leave your Mix 4, make sure to activate the trim. Again, you want to be able to trim in the air. Now, one thing I will say about all these mixes, if you don't want the canard to work full 100% with your Elevons, you could just lower the rates to say minus 80. Say you only want the canards to, to do 80% of what the Elevons do in the roll. That's up to you. That's a rate change. I'm just showing you how to set it up at full 100 deflection so the servos are working in full deflection in uniform with each other. So now when I back out, I have four mix pages, uh, four mixes as you can see. They are all turned on, two for your Elevon, which is plugged into the aileron port, one for each canard on that side, and then two for the Elevon plugged into the elevator port, mixing into each canard. And that's gonna get it done for your canard setup. Now, uh, real quick, to trim, remember you have access if you've plugged in your canards and your and your elevons without any um without any y leads you can easily sub trim out because right now if you notice it's hard to see maybe on this camera but like one canard's a little up one canard's a little down i would just go into this sub trim page and i will go to aux 2 which i know is this canard and i'm going to start racking it and there you go now my now that canard is level then i'm going to go to the other side and i'm going to give a little sub trim and I'm gonna go this way, and there we go. Now I have level canards on both sides, if you didn't wanna go in. But you could always mechanically do it if you want to, but that's just a little extra tip um, to uh, trim out. You can still trim it out uh, each individual port. You have access to that at least with a Spectrum DX9. So guys, that's gonna do it for this mix build. This should help you uh, mix together your Elevon setup and your canards. This is how we're flying it, but there are so many ways to do it. If you wanted to only mix in your uh, one port, just have your canards working in pitch, you can do that. If you just wanna have it working in roll, you can do that too. If you wanna fix your canards, then just don't do a mix at all and just fly it with Elevons. It's, it's up to you. Either way, the Grippin's gonna fly uh, like that. I just figure if you have full functioning canards, why not use full functioning canards? So guys, check out the links in the description of this video. We have links to the product page. We have links to our assembly video. We have links to any flight videos we've done. We have links to the Hobby Squawk Forum where tons of pilots are talking about their Grippin. And, uh, you know, guys, we're so excited that you watch this. Hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions at all, please um, drop a comment in the comment section. I'll answer your question there. And as always, guys, thank you for being a subscriber to Motion RC. Please hit the like button on the way out the door, and we'll see you next time at Motion RC.